but I'm going to read your question. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So Shroom Tripper says, can you answer in a simple yes or no if you think it's worth for Russia to sacrifice so, so much to take over just a little bit of Ukraine? Just curious on your opinion. Okay, so you want a yes or no? I'll throw the question back at you and answer you like this. If you have another nation, another person, let's assume we're people because nations are to a certain degree defined as people, right? They're corporations, entities, right? According to the United States, corporations can make political donations just like people because they're defined as people, right? The definition, they've changing definitions work, right? But if you're a person that's being poked and attacked, right? Do you have a right to say, slap the hands away, right? If that person or those people or those entities that are attacking you, some of them have constantly said that they want to destroy you, take you apart, rip you apart, rip you apart, right? Because in Poland, in Germany, uh, neocons in the United States, they have said for a number of years that they want to rip apart Russia, balkanize it the way they did Yugoslavia, right? Consider this. So that's one thing you got to consider. Consider this. This area that Eastern Ukraine, that's mainly Russian speaking and has been mainly Russian speaking for centuries, right? Is the fertile land, as we talked about topsoil in, uh, in a short supply, right? And it's got a lot of industrial base, right? And access to the Black Sea, right? Again, centuries Russian speaking, even though Ukrainian, Ukrainian, it's like Canada has two national languages, English and French. Switzerland has three national languages. German, French, Italian. I think there might be another one as well, but I don't think it's national. Multiple languages in Germany, multiple languages in Italy, multiple languages in Belgium, multiple languages all over Europe. And this part of Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine, that used to be Russian speaking, and it is Russian speaking. All of a sudden, the Western Ukraine, right, they pass a law banning their language no longer taught in school, no longer recognized as official language, right? Compare what was happening in Ukraine to what happened in Georgia. Here's a, here's a comment from Lavrov. I'm going to read this to you. By the way, gang, apologies if I'm not reading the chat. I'm just going to read this comment from Lavrov, which is Russia's... Um, here it is Russian foreign minister okay here's comment from Russian foreign minister you can go to my Twitter feed and I retweeted this here let me bring up the Twitter feed that's my Twitter thing okay you can go there's a second one down right I just came across it he made this comment in I don't know if he made it in May 3rd but he just recently made it I think right uh, Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov, quote, if you believe the U.S. has the right to declare a threat to its nas uh, national interests any place on earth like they did in Yugoslavia, Iraq, Libya, Syria, 10,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. 10,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. that they have the right to do so, and you don't ask them any questions. And Russia, not just over overnight, like they did in Iraq and elsewhere, but for more than 10 years warning them, guys, you are doing something which is going to be very bad, not across the ocean, but just on our borders, on territories where Russians lived for centuries and centuries if this is not doable not a doable standard they am then I am not a minister end quote and here's the tweet by the way again 
let me link it up for you guys so you know that I'm not just doing there's the tweet okay you want a yes or no answer we're human beings I can give you a more detailed answer and put the question to you what do you think do you think it was a good idea I'm against war they should never ever be in need for war when quantum beings can communicate without censorship and suppression of information okay and this this war right here right this war right here something that seymour hirsch stated said it was the most devastating war in the last 40 years i disagree with seymour hirsch seymour hirsch i believe wanted to say it's the most devastating war uh, in europe since world war ii i think this, he, he he said most dev devastating war in the world since world war ii or something like this but i think he meant it in europe right because the iran iraq war was way more devastating than what's happening in ukraine by a long shot the one that happened in the 1980s that was being supported funded equipped trained logistics intelligence for iraq to use chemical weapons on iran when iraq invaded iran right way more devastating than what's happening in ukraine and I remember that no one stated that Iraq was doing the wrong thing in the Western world. I was a kid, but I saw what happened, right? So as a quantum being, I'm giving you a more complicated answer, and I hope you can uh, come to your own conclusions.